Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? Come on, y'all already know what it is. Come on, man, power moves. Power moves, man. Big salute to Hitman Holler, man. Bags and bodies, power moves, man. Wow, November 9th. November 9th, Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Actually, not Atlanta, excuse me, Decatur, Georgia. Decatur, Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Salute to Hitman Holler, man. You know what I'm saying? He been through a lot as far as trying to make this card happen. You know what I'm saying? Going back and forth with Murder Mook, with the negotiations and things of that nature and not being able to come together to actually make this happen. But the thing about Hitman Holler is, you know, he's a legend in battle rap. He's had battles. He's had he's had quite a few battles, but he still has a lot of top names to battle. Still a lot. He got Mook on the table. He, do, he doing the Geechee Gotti battle. He got Lux. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Who else he got? Who else he got? Who else he got? Um, then you got like New Jersey twerk. You know what I'm saying? You got Rex. It, it, like it's still a lot of battles out there for him to battle, bro. It's still a lot. Then you got up and coming names. Not up and coming names, but names that have, you know, moved from top tier to like superstar or star status and things of that nature. So definitely salute to Hitman Holler, man. But let's talk about this card, bro. Come on, man. This is one of the best cards. Like it's three, it's literally three top cards to end the year, and I'm curious to see who's gonna be victorious, cause it seems like it's a competition going on right now. I ain't gonna hold you, but let's get into it, man. Snake Eyes versus J Two. What are we doing, y'all? What are we doing? This is this, this is the set the night off. This is fire. And salute to Hitman for getting Snake Eyes. I feel like Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes need to get more looks, bro. From the beginning of the year. The consistency, the wins this man had, the material, like, Snake been putting on, bro. Snake been putting on. Sells the battle, you know what I'm saying? Markets, promotes, promo. Like, Snake need to be, like, come on, bro. You know what I mean? Snake better be in that top 15 for, for champion of the year. He got the stumbles, boxing fight going on, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that in another, you know, later blog. But, bro, he going up against J2. J2, salute to J2, you know what I'm saying? J2 can rap. I've always said that about J2. J2 can rap, you know, regardless of his sexual preference and things of that nature, the nigga can rap, you know what I mean? And they both were in the Bags and Bodies house. No secret to the history behind that, the whole Rock Lee situation. And I felt like, you know, J2 kind of stuck his nose out there to try to kind of like get at Snake Eyes and you know, they just had like this turbulence going on between them two. And it's crazy because when my Snake Eyes battled Twerk, J2 jumped in for Snake. So, I, you know what I mean? I thought they was cool. But, hey, this is what makes storylines. You know what I'm saying? This is what makes storylines. This is what sells tickets. And these two right here got into spaces and literally sold their way to this car. This car was already done. Hitman was looking for another another grudge match or something of that nature to add to this card. And these niggas got on there and they sold the fucking battle. Sold the battle. That's what I'm talking about with Snake Eyes, bro. He does this shit effortlessly. Salute to J2, but I'm talking Snake. Like, Snake can sell. He can create a battle effortlessly. That's one of the talented components of Snake Eyes. The nigga that has believability and can sell the fucking battle. You know what I mean? Especially when he's motivated. He's going to give you... A phenomenal all three rounds, bro. You seen what he did with Riggs? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, salute, salute to Snake Eyes and J2, man. Who do I have winning this battle? I got Snake Eyes, bro. Salute J2. I got Snake. I feel like Snake understands the magnitude of this battle and the card and the eyes that's going to be on this fucking, this, this, this event. Snake Eyes has to show out. He has to show why. Why he's... He, he is who he is. And I feel like with a victory tonight, not tonight, but a victory on this card can move Snake to top, top tier. Like, I feel like he's, I feel like he's, he's, I feel like Snake is, I feel like Snake is top tier, but I feel like he don't get the respect as a top tier. But I feel like him winning this battle will solidify and push him to top, top tier status. And then going into 2025, he should be able to get a big, big, a couple big names. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking big names like a Rum Nitty. You know what I mean? He already battled Geechee Gotti, but you know what I'm saying? Like big, big names. You know what I mean? Like a Calico or something of that nature. He should be able to negotiate and get himself in there with the resume 
previously that he already has. You know what I mean? But I feel like with a, a dominant win over J2, it ain't going to be an easy fight, Snake Eyes. I'm telling you, because J2, you know, J, J2 can rap, bro. He can rap. I feel like he's very, he's very slept on. Pause. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just, I, that's just like pause. That's just like crazy. I feel like, yo, he's underrated. I feel like he's very underrated. You know what I'm saying? But I got Snake Eyes. I feel like this is going to be a fire battle. Salute to you both for getting your way on this card. A Ward versus Av. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. We just talked about A Ward. I just talked about A Ward with Hollow, the Black Ice Cartel. You know what I'm saying? Him getting Tay Rock this year, having a phenomenal. A Ward's having a phenomenal year, yo. Phenomenal year. He's being very strategic. He's getting on all the big cards. This is this is a testament of staying true, keeping your morals, your integrity, your values, not burning bridges and moving like a champion. And look, and look, and look at the blessings that have come his way. He didn't have to go to URL to get top names that he has on his resume. He stayed down, stayed consistent, believed in himself, bet on himself. And look, look he's got Av. Av is on a fucking tear right now, bro. I got Av right now. Number two. I got Av number two for champion of the year. Number two or number three, okay? He's 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 fighting right now with Tay Rock and John John, my personal opinion. Them three right there is like whoever, like, it really, going to, it really comes down to who's going to have the most dominant performance. But come on, bro. Av versus A-Ward. I don't know. I honestly don't know, bro. I'm looking, th I'm looking at the intangibles of the battle. Av, pretty consistent, puncher. He don't freestyle. He don't rebuttal. He's super, super focused, clean, all three rounds. A Ward, freestyle, can rebuttal, can jump in and out of his writtens. Unpredictable. Fire writtens. So, if I had to nitpick between who has more of this and who has less of this? I'm probably going to lean towards a ward. I feel like this might be the first convincing loss at Av. If Av can get through a ward, somebody that is, that has so many of these attributes, and Av can just go in there with the same style, the same cadence, the delivery bars, and win. Jesus. That nigga's dangerous, bro. That nigga's dangerous, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But I'm curious to see, bro. I feel like, Av, you got to, Av, you got to, you got to, you got to premiere something different, bro. Like, either, like, a switch up with the flow or uh, maybe a little freestyle. You know what I'm saying? A little rebuttal. You know what I mean? Like, a, like an AMG flow. I don't know. Like something, bro. You got to add something, bro. Come on. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you just coasting right now to that champion of the year. But I feel like, bro, you, as you're coasting there, you gonna run into some turbulence, bro. And this is one of the turbulences right here. A war. I got a war slightly two one, bro. But Av, man, I, I ain't gonna lose. I ain't gonna lose. Like, low key, I want Av to win because I want Av to make it a debate even stronger for champion of the year. But it's gonna be close. I, I gotta go with a war two one. Swamp versus T-Rex. I'm not going to fucking hold you. I was so excited when I saw this, bro. I was so excited when I heard T-Rex is battling Swamp, bro. Salute to my nigga Swamp, bro. Swamp. Swamp. Last year, I was arguing with the boss about if you were a superstar, if you were a top tier. For me, you went through a lot with URL, promising you certain shit, the shit you went through with Verb. And I just felt like, along with other bloggers and other fans, like, yo, bro, like, why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you not, you know what I mean? Like, why are you not stepping out and, you know what I mean, furthering your career? And I understand, you know, it was certain shit behind the scenes. Probably you couldn't, you know, you couldn't move around. But, bro, you have solidified absolutely star. Swamp is a star, bro. <laughs> There's no question about it, bro. The views, the people that want to battle him, the battles that he's had. He is a star, bro. He's a star. And I'm wrong. I say at first that I was wrong. But I felt like he needed to prove a little bit more to me. I needed to see more. And I have seen it. I've seen I've seen Swamp live in person. I've seen him rock Irvin Plaza. 
thousands in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Then I've seen him on fucking pay-per-view. Tay Rock. I ain't going out like that. Rock this shit all three rounds. Phenomenal work in the tournament. You know what I'm saying? C- cleared a verb all three rounds. You know what I'm saying? Swamp has been fucking killing shit. I don't got Swamp losing no battles, bro. I don't have Swamp losing no battles at all. I, I can't even remember the last time Swamp lost on some real shit. Y'all let me know in the comments. Who has Swamp lost to? Swamp ain't lost. I think it's been like a year, bro. He ain't had that many battles for I mean from like last year, but like this year, Swamp has not lost, bro. And then you got T Rex. Come on, man. T Rex has been yo. This nigga Rex, bro. We're we're seeing Rex that battle on Casa right now. You know what I'm saying? Nigga need to lose about 30 pounds on some G shit. Cause you at last year, Rex, you was working out. You know what I'm saying? Breath control. Like you got you got the breath control a little on you know, on, on lock. But you look like you slipping a little bit, bruh. Like, come on, Rex. But Rex, you you've been phenomenal, Rex. The shit you did with chess. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I go to the 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 uh the, the kid you battled in the barbershop. That oh my god. Face goes through the phone. That's a screenshot. Like the quotables Rex has had. This is crazy. Battling Big K. You know what I'm saying? Like you just you just been on a fucking tear, bro. And I don't think Rex has lost. Well, you know, he lost to Big K. You lost to Big K, Rex. I don't give a fuck with nobody. You lost to Big K. You did. You was fire, but I had you losing to Big K. But that's that's not even matter. Rex Rex is back. Rex is selling the battles. When you see Rex on the card, the excitement is there. Like you, I'm I'm me as a fan. I'm I'm buying it. If Rex is on the pay per view, I'm buying it. If it's if it's close and I can drive and get, I'm going to see Rex. You know what I'm saying? Who's gonna win this battle though? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I feel like Swamp needs this. He needs this win. He's got a Mount Rushmore legend in front of his face. And he he did what he's supposed to do against Tay Rock. He did what he's supposed to do against Verb. I got I got Swamp two one, bro. Salute to Rex. Rex, I never. It's hard for me to bet against you, Rex. This nigga's hungry, Rex. Swamp is hungry, and it's, I like I like the style clash. Salute to the boss. I think the boss put this uh, joint together. I like the style clash. You know what I'm saying? You got a New York nigga. Fast talk, they got Swamp Country, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, clever with the bars. And Swamp can do freestyle, too. Swamp can freestyle, do little battles. You know what I'm saying? And, and Rex is quick quick off his feet. I got Swamp. I feel like this is going to be battle tonight, though. I ain't going to hold you. I, I, I do. I feel like Swamp and Rex going to be battle tonight. I'm serious. Oh, man. Damn. New Jersey Twerk versus Big K, man. Oh, man. Another phenomenal fucking power move battle, bro. What, what I mean, what, what is it? What is it to say, bro? New Jersey Twerk arguably has not lost. He's having a phenomenal 2024, bro. Phenomenal. He's given us all three. He's given us quotables, highlights throughout the battles. Like, come on, man. He's gracing big stage, big pay per views. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is for me. This is like the most highest. Excited year in battle rap from, from our top names, like they're all bringing it hundred percent. And Twerk is having a fucking breakout year, bro. Salute to New Jersey Twerk. This is the shit. I, this is the Twerk I was always asking for years ago, bro. I'm just like, bro, if you just dedicate and just really stick to your craft, bro, and really focus, bro, you could be on Mount Rushmore. You can make up for all the bullshit that happened in the past if you continue to go in this in this path, bro. Cause you still got murder moot. You still got Lux. You still got Hitman. Like Tork, even though Tork battled a lot, he still got a lot of big battles. You still got easy to block captain. I feel like you need to see Geechee again too. But like, bro, I'm liking when New Jersey Tork. He got Big K. He got the dog, man. Big K, champion of the year. Big K, man, just battled Tay Rock. Fucking phenomenal battle. I had Big K winning the battle in a dog fight. Big K battled Murder Moot. Big K battled T Rex. What are we doing? Big K gonna go down a legend, bro. Torque 2. 
But say what y'all want. I know a lot of y'all don't like Big K. Big K is going to go down as a legend in battle rap. I'm telling you. He is, bro. He is. The nigga's funny. He's entertaining. I wish he did a little bit more as far as marketing, promoting like his personality because he's a funny nigga, bro. You know what I mean? And he, he, he's, he, he knows how to hold a conversation too. Like I've, I've watched the Uppercut podcast. I've watched a couple of the interviews that he's had like in the past. And I know he don't really like certain media and bloggers and things of that nature because he feels like niggas exploit you know, the battlers and stuff. And I, and I understand because some of these niggas, you know, weird thumbnail titles and shit. I, I get it. But they got to make their bread. They got to make their bread, you know. But um, I fuck with Big K, bro. You know what I mean? He's a nigga that I want to see win. I do. I want to see win. And I like the resurgence of New Jersey twerk. Like, I, we need stars. We need superstars, bro. And twerk is from that early era where I feel like, bro, had he would have been, like, winning these battles how he is now, twerk would be Twerk would have been had Rex. I mean, he would have been had Lux, Mook, all that. Twerk would have been on Mount Rushmore. His style is the most copied in battle rap ever, ever, bro. Ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, haymakers. Like, come on, man. With that being said, we got to pick a winner, y'all. This is when I got a nitpick. I got I got a nitpick, bro. I got two. I got two. I got a nitpick. Who has the most intangibles? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I got to go with New Jersey twerk. Big K, I fuck with you. I got to go with twerk, bro. I know and, and I know, I know you want to kill twerk after what he did in the Tayrock shit, but twerk, 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 like I said, when twerk is focused, twerk has too many intangibles. Freestyle, rebuttal. He can flow in and out of his written. Battles like that are very dangerous. They're very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Electrifying performance. You know, it's like, yeah, you battle up against a lot. A lot. But I do feel like this is going to be a great, great fucking battle. But salute to these two. But I got twerk 2-1. Main event, Hitman Holla versus Geechee Gotti. Wow. We're finally here, y'all. We are finally here. Hitman Holla. Legend, St. Louis, Battle Rap, overall legend. Geechee Gotti, legend. He's he's done a phenomenal within a short period of time that he's been in Battle Rap. Both league owners, both have created opportunities, created their league, you know, help, you know, bring up new talent. Um it, this this is this is this is this is like power move slash end game to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And they've been trying to get this battle to happen for years, bro. For years, they've been trying to make this shit happen. Um, For me, this is going to be very interesting, bro. It's going to be very interesting. I feel like it's going to come. It's going to be. This is going to be one of these nitpick battles, bro. We're going to end up nitpicking. And Geechee. I'm going to go to Geechee first. Geechee, man, you've. Geechee, you one of my favorite battle rappers, bro. I'm a t I mean, it's no bias. But Geechee Gotti, somebody asked me who's your favorite battle rapper. I'm saying Geechee Gotti. And it's a reason why. The work speaks for itself. The credibility, the believability, how he conducts business, how he interacts with the fans. I, I play a part all of that. The material he gives us in these battles, the moments, this classics. You know what I'm saying? Like from the two on twos to the one on one battles. This is why Geechee Gotti is one of my favorites. And when Geechee Gotti is in there freestyling and blickety and, you know, repeating words, it, 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 it makes me angry, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. When somebody has battled so many people, it's like, yo, you, you try to search for motivation when you've done something for so long. And I feel like that can that that can kind of work against you. You know what I'm saying? When you got somebody like Hitman, got classics, platinum battles, you know what I'm saying, moments, performance, birthed his own league, own network, help bring up talent, you know what I'm saying, like, come on, man, <laughs> like, the work speaks for itself, you know what I mean, like, he, it, it, hit me and be like my number two, 
You know what I'm saying? They didn't suit surf. But like I said, this is gonna be a battle where you're gonna nitpick, bro. Geechee, if you in there freestyling and missing certain words and shit, bro, you going <sighs> Geechee, come on. Come on, Geechee. <sighs> I'm going with Hitman 2 1, man. I, I'm gonna go with Hitman 2 1. 2 1. Geechee, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest, yo. Geechee, I heard Miss Hustle in the spaces. And this I ain't gonna lie, this this guy, this 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 made me a little mad. I was gonna tweet, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna say this for my blog. It's got me a little, a little upset. Miss Hustle said Geechee Gotti didn't have any material going into their battle on Kings vs. Queens. The nigga wrote the shit on the plane all three rounds. If I could be wrong, it could be the third round or the second round. See, some of that nature, majority of Geechee Gotti's material for Kings vs. Queens, the nigga wrote the same day. That is so risky, bro. Like, come on. Like, and then they start talking about how DNA used to do that shit. Like, I get it, bro. Yeah, y'all niggas are talented, but come on, Geechee, you were already under enough scrutiny with the Marv One battle, the Mook battle. Like, come on, you know you gotta sell this this Hitman car. And this is why I feel like Hustle be talking a little too much because we didn't need to know that. I was impressed that y'all went in there and y'all had a fucking fight, even though y'all were the same crew. I I was like, yes. But to find out you wrote that shit the day of, bro, come on, man. That's too dangerous, bro. You can't go in there playing with Hitman like that, bro. You can't. And if I'm a gambling man, I can't put my bread on that, bro. I can't, bro. I'm going to be real. If I didn't know that information, I would have my my For me, I probably would have went towards Geechee. But I got to go Hitman holler because I know Hitman, if I put my money on Hitman, Hitman's not going to write the day of. Hitman's going to be at least weeks weeks prepared running over that material he gonna have a couple clips in the stash the performance is gonna be a one crispy clear you know what i'm saying like not to say geechee you don't do that because you can and you have done that but lately bro you just i don't know man you just don't seem motivated are you really motivated to kill hitman that's my question to you geech are you really motivated to kill hitman holla because i feel like you already know you a legend you already know you solidify. You on my Mount Rushmore top five of all time. But that's what I'm saying. Like, are you still motivated to do this shit? You know what I'm saying? That's what I that's that's the that's what I worry. And for that, I got Hitman Holler 2 1. Still, man, it's gonna be a fire fucking battle. The card is gonna be fire. You know what I'm saying? Get your pay-per-view, man. If you can be in the building, be in the building, man. Salute to um salute to Froze and Bros. They doing the commentary. Um, the event's supposed to start at three. Salute to my man Frank, because I believe we the fans is also. I think he's sponsoring one of the battles on his car. You know what I mean? Salute to Frank does a lot for the culture, okay? The man has invested over hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars in battle rap. In battle rap. He ain't make a dollar back. So people out here trying trying to throw smut on this man's name is disgusting. It's disgusting, man. This man I've never heard bad business with this man. Never. Never heard it. Why does battle rap? That's a whole nother discussion. <laughs> I ain't gonna get into that. Salute to my nigga Frank, but salute to Hitman Holla and Geechee Gotti for collaborating to make this event happen. I'm excited, y'all. Power moves going down November 9th. Get your tickets. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel with your boy Acito. I'm out of here. Peace. Shout out my nigga Ace, man. One of the lifelines of this culture, man. As a battle rapper, we look forward to these reviews, gangster. What up, though? It's Calico, Landslide, fucking with Dedication TV. Subscribe to the network. Real side. Don't forget the extra eight, man. Shout out to the Brody, man. Shout out to Dedication TV. Shout out my nigga Ace, man. Me being from New Orleans, I'm a super little wine man. So I could appreciate anything dealing with the dedication. Thank <laughs> you.